Hello there once again, welcome back to Science for another beer review. This time I'm going to be reviewing a rather talked about beer, Wells & Young, or Wells. You know a lot of people turn their nose up it, but I've got to try it as I was given it a couple of months ago. Sticky Toffee Pudding Owl at 5% ABV. Based on the Great British Pudding, full of rich, sticky toffiness. And that's it, really. Um, contains natural mineral water, malt, sugar, hops, yeast, caramel, natural toffee flavouring. So they couldn't get it out of the actual beer itself, so they put it in as a flavouring. Give it a go, eh? Poured a bit too much head on that, I think. Don't want the glass a bit too early. Might just get it there. Yeah. Right. Well, obviously, I can smell the toffee. Yep, toffee, caramel, chocolate. Toffee yogurt, so. Very, very dark brown. Let me show you the bottle. the bottle there and it's quite contentious because obviously they use uh, flavorings in the beer and you don't need to use that really uh, with the amount of hops that are available and people get a lot of different flavors out of, the, out of beers that they brew these days and they come under a lot of scrutiny putting flavorings in the beer and making these kind of flavored beers but you know the, the only way I can look at that is like we always did beer a certain way and then we got hops in and imported it and you know everything's different i'm not sticking up for them but there's always a different way of doing it isn't there it's not my idea of brewing beer putting flavorings in it i'd rather get it naturally but hey ho let's give it a try Oh. Well, initially you get the taste of toffee, like a big chunk of toffee that you'd buy normally from, especially when you're this, you know, you go away somewhere and it's always in them tourist shops and you get toffee or something. You get that, but as you go into it, you get a big whack of. I don't know where that's come from. I'm considering it's out of a bottle. Big metallic taste. Let's, uh, oh, excuse me, let's try again. No, no, and it's thin. It's like there's no texture to it, it's very thin drinking. And the aftertaste, you feel like you're just licking a two pence coin that's been in someone's hand for about three weeks. Yeah. No. They've they've tried to hit it with a big flavour at the beginning and then well what about the aftertaste? It's It's like that metallic lager taste you get. It's just generic at the end, but that is actually like licking metal. Mm. 
And it doesn't leave a nice taste when it initially goes in the mouth either. So you got a bit of caramel, a bit of toffee there, a little bit of caramel. Goes down thin and then you're like, ah, there's that two pence. You know, I'm just licking pennies now. And it takes a while to come in. You refresh your mouth and then there. Ah. That is not pleasant. That is not a pleasant taste at all. You couldn't drink that as a regular thing, no way. I couldn't drink that as even a one-off. It's it's sickly because of the caramel taste. I don't know why they thought they could put that in a beer. It was a toffee taste. I don't know why you could think they would put that in a beer, why it would be pleasant. And then, it's sickly. And then, you must realise when you're making that, you can taste that metallicness afterwards. That is not pleasant. And I can see why people have said that is horrible. I mean, a beer is a beer, and then you got to be fair. You got to design like that, and then one goes, "Ooh, what's that?" And you look at it, and you go, "Well, they're not taking brewing seriously, here, are they?" Sticky toffee pudding ale. Come on. You be coming up with Sunday dinner ale next, or you know, fucking cheese on toast ale or something or shit in your hand ale or whatever it is now that is not getting drunk because that is horrible so got to give it a rating um, honestly 0 out of 10 zero out of ten not taking it seriously adding flavoring into a beer without being natural um, sickly taste no texture to the beer and metallic aftertaste it's got nothing going for it so for me zero out of ten on that so thanks very much for watching this review Hope to see you again next time.